Did you know that kidney disease, CKD, is affecting millions of people worldwide, but you can take control of your kidney health? In a recent study, it was shown that a balanced diet and natural remedies can improve kidney filtration by up to 30%. The reason these foods are so beneficial is quite simple. When your kidneys are struggling, getting rid of excess fluid can become a real challenge. This can lead to issues like swelling in the ankles and feet, or the retention of sodium, which in turn can raise blood pressure. It can even make things worse by increasing blood sugar levels. In fact, when your kidneys find it hard to clear out extra fluid, they may also struggle to remove excess sugar. It's clear that all of this can speed up kidney function decline and cause more damage. So, if improving kidney function is your goal, you can't afford to ignore the foods and tips I'm about to share with you today. There are five ways to naturally and safely remove excess fluid at every stage. Don't miss number one, especially, it's a nutrient that has been used to bring creatinine levels back to normal for many patients meaning a full recovery from CKD. Before we dive in, let's take a look at some scientifically backed foods that help us quickly flush out excess fluid. Let's start with a superfood that few know about but some consider a pesky weed, dandelion greens. These greens aren't just delicious and perfect for a salad, they also offer incredible health benefits. They gently and safely help your body eliminate excess fluid, a process that often goes unnoticed but is so important. Take dandelion, for example, those bright white flowers you often spot in fields and lawns. What many people don't realize is that dandelion leaves are a powerhouse of goodness. Regularly eating them has been linked to lower blood pressure, reduced inflammation, and even better blood sugar control. Isn't that amazing? Dandelion is naturally a diuretic, encouraging your body to produce more urine in a gentle, non-intrusive way. Another food worth adding to your routine is asparagus. This superfood is a best friend to your kidneys, with studies showing that eating asparagus can help reduce fluid retention and aid in flushing out excess salt and water from your body. What makes asparagus so effective is asparagin, an amino acid that acts as a natural diuretic and can actually help treat edema. This makes it especially beneficial for those with swelling or high blood pressure. But here's something not many know, cooking asparagus in water can destroy some of its valuable nutrients. Instead, why not try it raw, finely shaved in a salad for a fresh, nutrient-packed crunch? Another superfood you might want to consider is celery. Celery has always been one of my personal favorites, and for good reason, it's packed with so many amazing qualities. It's incredibly low in calories but high in nutrients, making it a great addition to any meal. The antioxidants and natural compounds in celery are so potent, they can actually have a significant positive impact on your health. Celery acts like a natural vasodilator, helping to lower blood pressure, which is a fantastic way to support your kidneys. For centuries, celery has been used as a natural detoxifier, and today, we know it's all thanks to a plant compound called phthalates. Isn't that fascinating? I also have a superfood that's even more powerful when it comes to naturally flushing out excess fluid than anything we've looked at so far. It's truly one of the most potent healing foods on the planet, ginger. I genuinely believe everyone should include ginger in their daily meals, especially those with chronic kidney disease, CKD. You might be wondering why. Well, first off, ginger is incredibly effective in reducing nausea, which is often a symptom of progressing kidney disease. It helps manage high blood sugar by improving insulin resistance, and it's also a heavy metal chelator, making it a strong detoxifier. Most importantly, ginger is a powerful anti-inflammatory. 
It works wonders in reducing inflammation within the body, and studies have even tested its ability to lower creatinine levels. Of course, ginger is also great for reducing fluid retention, but what sets it apart from other foods we've discussed is how it stimulates diuresis. Fresh ginger contains gingerol, a bioactive compound with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that can improve overall kidney function and help eliminate excess fluid. You can add up to 4 grams of fresh ginger to your meals each day to reap these incredible benefits. Just remember, too much ginger can lead to heartburn, so if that happens, try cutting back a little. You may have noticed that some of these foods also contain potassium. Should you be concerned about that? The next thing I want to point out is that some vitamins and minerals are extremely effective in helping with water retention. Now, do the diuretics your nephrologist prescribed really need supplements and other natural methods to help reduce swelling? Of course, the medication your nephrologist prescribed is effective, no doubt about it. The reason medications for blood pressure and water retention are concerning is due to their side effects. The medication your doctor prescribes for treating water retention is typically a loop diuretic. The most common ones are furosemide, Lasix, and Dumetanide. Some common issues that people taking these medications might encounter are due to deficiencies in essential nutrients. Most of the diuretics your nephrologist may give you will deplete your body of essential nutrients and minerals such as zinc, vitamin C, and B1, which is very problematic. Remember, even a single nutrient deficiency can be a serious issue. Not to mention that if you take both diuretics and an ACE inhibitor or ARB, a very common combination, you may face other risks. In fact, if you add an NSAID to this combination, you might end up needing hospitalization for acute kidney injury. This is called the triple whammy. Some prescription medications can also cause swelling or water retention in the body. For example, NSAIDs are associated with increased sodium and water retention. But hopefully, you're not using them in the first place. However, there are also some blood pressure medications that can cause water retention. Calcium channel blockers, such as amlodipine, can cause swelling in the legs and ankles. Beta blockers, like metaprolol, can also cause this issue. Clearly, many medications have side effects that can harm the kidneys. So, the biggest problem I have with prescription diuretics and other medications is the increased risk of acute kidney injury or rapid kidney damage. Of course, kidney damage depends on the dosage. The higher the dose, the greater the risk. On the other hand, there are supplements and vitamins that we can use to naturally improve the body's ability to eliminate water without side effects. One of the most powerful ones is number one today, a mineral you absolutely want to supplement, as it also has properties that will help you in many ways. You can also make some easy lifestyle changes to ensure that you only need the smallest possible dose of prescription diuretics. Here are some simple habits that can really support your body's natural ability to get rid of excess water. First off, try cutting down on refined carbs. When you eat too many refined carbohydrates, your body stores them as glycogen, which attracts water. Reducing these carbs can lead to a noticeable drop in weight, and that's usually just water weight. This is one of the reasons why eating fewer refined carbs can help lower creatinine levels. Even better, get moving. Regular exercise, even just walking, gets your muscles active, helps circulation, and aids in moving fluids out of your body. Exercise is a two-for-one deal. It helps maintain a healthy weight, and remember, 60% of your body is water so losing weight helps reduce water retention. Plus, exercise lowers blood pressure, regulates blood sugar, and controls cholesterol. 
a brisk 20 to 30 minute walk every day can make a real difference. And don't forget to drink plenty of water. Yes, water helps flush out water. If you don't have restrictions, aim for 8 to 12 cups a day, as dehydration can make your body hold on to excess fluid. You might also want to consider drinking herbal teas regularly. And here's something really important, reduce your salt intake. Too much salt is a common issue that can make your body retain up to 1.5 liters of extra fluid, not to mention the effect it has on your blood pressure. Now, when it comes to salt, I've noticed that some influencers are trying to sell certain types of table salt. Remember, whether it's sea salt, Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, or any other fancy name, it's still just table salt. It's full of sodium, which raises your blood pressure and leads to water retention. The trace minerals in these salts are never enough to provide real health benefits. Now, there are some vitamins that can really help when it comes to water retention, especially if you're not getting enough of them. These vitamins can cause retention if levels in your body are too low, and you definitely want to make sure you're getting them instead of relying on medications. The first one is vitamin B1, thiamine. A deficiency in B1, often caused by prescription diuretics, is linked to water retention. Strange, right? Diuretics can actually contribute to the very problem they're meant to fix. This is a serious issue that often goes unnoticed, so make sure you're not deficient in B1, especially if you're also experiencing symptoms like a loss of appetite, fatigue, irritability, or tingling in your arms and legs. These could be signs of B1 deficiency. Also, Keep an eye on your vitamin D levels. Beyond causing proteinuria, bone damage, and kidney damage, a lack of vitamin D is linked to water retention. Low vitamin D can contribute to retention by affecting kidney function and the balance of calcium and phosphorus in your body. This deficiency is especially common in those with kidney disease. Another common deficiency related to water retention is vitamin B12. A lack of B12 can lead to anemia, which is another cause of water retention. Vitamin C is another one you don't want to miss. It's a powerful detoxifier and can help eliminate excess fluid. Of course, there are essential minerals that can also cause water retention when levels are too low. One of them is potassium which may surprise you. In people with CKD, potassium deficiency, hypokalemia, is less common than high potassium levels, hyperkalemia, but it's still dangerous. Low potassium can lead to water retention. Potassium helps balance sodium levels and supports proper kidney function. Low potassium is also a cause of high blood pressure and can result from taking loop diuretics, so be cautious with your levels. Make sure you're regularly monitoring your serum potassium levels. Now, there's one nutrient that's even more important when it comes to managing water retention. It's often low in people with CKD, and without it, your body's ability to process fluids can be compromised. If you're not getting enough of this nutrient from food or supplements, swelling might be a direct consequence. You could also struggle with sleep, and in extreme cases, even experience depression. I'm talking about vitamin B6. B6 is key for hemoglobin formation, metabolism, brain function, and regulating fluid balance in the body. Studies have shown that increasing B6 intake can help reduce water retention. Low B6 levels are also linked to inflammation, another reason to ensure you're getting enough. Remember, B6, like other B vitamins, is water-soluble, meaning your body doesn't store it. That's why it's important to supplement all B vitamins if you have CKD. B6, together with B9 and B12, is vital for those with anemia. By the way, 
B6 works with B12 and folic acid to produce hemoglobin. And there's just one more trace nutrient that's even more crucial than B6 when it comes to managing edema, water retention, and high blood pressure. This mineral is incredibly important for maintaining your GFR and lowering your creatinine levels. In one study, this nutrient was even used to help CKD patients recover. Those with CKD often have levels of this mineral that are too low, which can lead to high blood pressure, thyroid issues, phosphorus imbalance, inflammation, swelling, and even rapid kidney failure. To avoid this and fight against water retention, consider supplementing with magnesium. This mineral is involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions that help your body and kidneys function properly. Recently, magnesium has gained attention because low levels are linked to rapid kidney function decline and early death. Research also shows that increasing your magnesium intake can help reduce water retention, especially when taken with vitamin B6. If you found the information helpful, please hit like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and wishing you all good health with strong and healthy kidneys.